I'm, I'm impressed with the fact that the machine is, uh, has got an hydrostatic drive, the repair of a transmission on a conventional dozer, less than, than what you would normally spend on a machine that's got clutches and gears. As far as the serviceability of the machine is concerned, which we are always tied up with, uh, as with regards to space, I really like the space of the machine, especially in front at the radiator cooler side, it's very accessible, one can get in there. There's also a lot of space between the engine and the outside compartment, uh, which makes the accessibility also very nice. Second to that, the cab can tilt. Uh, on a normal dozer, one has to always remove the cab completely in order to get to the components. In this case, the cab can tilt back. As far as the air conditioning side is concerned, sitting at the back of the cab makes, makes, it, makes it more accessible. Elevated from the normal position where, where it normally is, I would think that uh, the air filters will last a lot longer. As far as the hydraulic system is concerned, very much impressed with the split hydraulic system, which will also ensure that if you do happen to have a failure on one compartment, you don't have to flush the whole system. And we do find that this machine runs at about between 35 and 40 liters an hour, if I'm correct, versus uh, the other competitors in the same class running up until almost 60 liters an hour. So. Quick, quick, and quick analysis of that, and I'm sure that's got to do with the effectivity of the hydrostatic drive versus the uh, conventional transmission.